So today, this is the new bike. So, what we're going to do today is clean the carburetor out. Obviously, I know it's got a good spark plug in there because the last time I used it, I'm pretty sure it got serviced straight after and then it was left. Um, it hasn't been on my channel for good, probably nearly three years. Um, it's just been absolutely forgotten about. I've been pushed further and further in the barn and stuff on top of it and around it. Uh, last weekend I dug it out. I think this is going to be the next, the definite, the next build. So it's going to be uh, pretty cool. Uh, so let's get down to taking that carburetor off. So if I recall rightly, um, there should be just two nuts here. This washer that goes round. Um, and literally you just unscrew those two. Take this bit off. It's probably just a, a star head as well. Um, these do have star head facing or or um, Phillips heads um, but I'd never get a screwdriver in there so you're better off just 10 mil so I'll get these two off uh, get this piece off get this rubber out usually they go hard but in this case it's actually still quite soft um, so I've been quite lucky if if these are hot hard, um, hard um, literally just get a little little tub of water like um, a little tub get some hot water sorry I was looking to see if I can find a tub um, and literally put a little bit of hot water in it or warm water let this soak for a couple of minutes keep an eye on it because you can obviously weaken these as well and literally just slip them straight over the, the carburetor and then you can figure out getting it over the cob and the air box so what i've done is i've taken the tank off and the seat just to get a bit more clearance i'm not sure what's going on with this so we'll have a little nosy at that as well so we're very very basic tools a flathead screwdriver and a star head we managed to release the carb from the actual inlet i've removed this part as well and obviously bolts are in there i have to take that casing off possibly oh maybe not so there's your um spacer has like a bump stop on the back All right Plonk that in there. Don't forget to unscrew the top of the carb. And this, usually, I'll just clean the bottom of the carb out. But uh, I might as well take it off so you can actually see what I'm doing. So obviously there's your slider and pin and all that. It's quite, like, gummed up Ugh, and staley fuel. So I can imagine it's going to be quite manky in there. So on the next clip, I'll dismantle it and we'll see how bad it is. For the next step, what I'll do is I'll take the bottom of the carb screws off. I'll take these off, take the actual bowl off, see how manky it is in there. They're all sort of Phillips heads, so they're nice and easy to get in there. And it's going to be quite manky in there. We're definitely going to have block jets and things like that. The carb. I will stick some gloves on in a second. I can imagine that is going to be absolutely vile. You'll break. It's definitely going to be something that I'll invest in. Um, looks like quite clean in there, but yeah, I'm going to invest in a little carburetor clean kit. So again, at some point, I'll just strip it down, change all this gasket that's in here, and it will be all renewed. But for now, all I need to do is make sure that the carb is clean. So I can see if we can start it. If it leaks around the float bowl, then we know obviously I've broken the gasket. But not not going to stress too much about it at the moment. I need to sort through my tools and make sure everything's there. Because uh, I've had friends in using the shed as well. So needle's all there. I'll give that a little bit of a clean as well. Sorry, I didn't realise I was so high up. So yeah, there's that. As you can see, look how gammy it is in there. It's smelly. It's really sort of stale. You can even see it in the colour of the fuel that's actually in there. Obviously, I know there's two straight mixed in it as well, but you can actually see bits floating around. If I actually tip this on the side, you can see quite quite a lot of dirt just in that little section there. So we'll clean all that out anyway. Give that a good clean. I don't have any actual carb cleaner 
all I do have is fuel that's laying around and easy start. So what we will do is I'll probably clean a lot of it with easy start just because you can blow down the hole here and various other, other bits and pieces. So if that fails then use the uh, can or even like you can get away with sometimes sticking a little thin bit of metal through there but I wouldn't fully recommend it like as in you get one of these and you could literally just push the dirt out. Same. You can get away with um, usually blowing down this hole or even like um, using for instance easy start it's not recommended but if you haven't got brake cleaner or you haven't got car cleaner just use that or even air in a can or even an airline actually if, you, if you've got one that is unfortunately my one's always broken um, again like I'm saying a lot of people do use the these but I really wouldn't recommend it if, if it's just the um, if you you have to use one of these use it but be very careful so I'll put this down on the side at the moment it is quite clear through there I've already blown for it Let's see what else is there well, I'll put these gloves back on just getting an old rag just in case we need it mm. I would probably recommend cracking out just giving it a see what happens sort of thing so explaining it before my camera decided to turn itself off um, I've, I've blown through here and I've also blown through here a lot of the time if you put it up to by the light or or in the sky sort of thing point out which you can see light light through it um, majority of the time they do get clogged up so there's that we will put it back in there. Don't go madly over tight because you can break them. They are on the brass. So if I plonk that back in there like so. Oh. I shall clean the floats. I'm not going to alter them. I'm not going to measure the height of them or anything like that. We'll just chuck it all back together and see what happens. So it might go back together properly, um, or easier than expected. Just remember you have got this in there. And don't lose it as well, that's another thing. There is a groove. Right, it's a funny shaped one. There is a groove for it, so just remember it only goes in one way and one way only. I'm not going to investigate that until later. Literally, like I said, I just want to get it running, make sure it, it does what it's, it's meant to do. If you look in there, you can see there's like a notch. And obviously there's a notch in here as well, so we'll get that in there like so. Just make sure it goes all the way to the bottom. If it fights, you know there's a problem. If it, the spring pushes up against the top of the um, carb, again you've got a problem. And if, if the throttle slider is stuck up, upwards, again, problem. But nice and snappy. Eight returns, so... We're not too, not doing too bad at the moment. Two thousand years later. Moment of truth. I've managed to get this back on. I've put the Jubilee clip in there, and I've also put it back together. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go and put the tank on there. I have put fuel in there. It is pre-mixed, so it will be smoky because I know if I recall rightly, the pump actually works on this engine, so it will be smoky. And remember, it hasn't been started. For nearly three years if not longer so it will smoke yes and it also it's a two shrug so it's obvious it's going to smoke right I feel the kickstart I think we'll prime it through see what happens and then we'll try and start it so it hasn't been started for like I said two to two to three years I'm priming just so if fuel gets to the carburetor Hang on a minute. Stop light with, or stop switch was on. Jesus, I was not 
expecting that. Kawasaki AR125 with 8,000 miles hasn't been on the road for many many moons um, as you can see it's in a bit of a state obviously you've heard it running now which god it was a surprise for me as well um, I've had a little ride up and down the road turns out the brakes are not very good um, I'll say road it's private um, it needs some body work I'd like to keep it to the purple but also, I'm kind of thinking of going the red and white. I know it's 89 colours, and this is a much older one. Still looks very smart. Sounds very crisp. Does look the part, I have to admit. Um, I don't have a belly pan for it. I'm going to make one out of some fairing I've got left over from an, a later AR125. Um, but it's not a, a big do if I, I don't get it done. I'm not going to go for the full fairing on the nose cone. Don't like them on these. They just don't suit them. Um, as you can see there's rust, there's corrosion, it all needs to be sorted out. Obviously the engine needs to be a bit more dress up kit, uh, or a bit of paint. Uh, body work is definitely going to be on, on the next to do. I won't be able to do anything until I've found some stuff online. Or be able to re like rebuild the back end. So as you can see it's broken here. Um, i just unbolt here. Wipe this off. It's also broken back here, which I'm going to try and fiberglass and broken down here. Again, I'm try going to try and repair this with fiberglass because these are really, really hard to find. I've got one of these in absolutely mint condition, but to be honest, I'm kind of reluctant to put it on the bike because they are so, so hard to get. And the, the one I've got has also got a flap, so, but I might mold uh, some fiberglass around and make a mold for this one. Um, I'd rather not put a mint one on there because if it gets broken, I will absolutely screw. So it's not going to go on there. Um, got to get some side panels. I've got some, but they're not in the best condition. So that would be definitely going to end up doing. Um, what else? Uh, Realised I need some split pins in the wheels. So that's definitely one to be done. Uh, these front indicators. If anyone's got the original um, indicators, that would be awesome. Like, shout me out. This one's seen better days. It uh, looks like it's taped. Yeah, it's taped. And it's very loose. So... That needs to be done. Um, but other than that, 
bodywork, a few little bits of like indicators, a good clean up, a spruce up on the on the engine, like paint, nice bit of polish on the exhaust. And I think to be honest with you, it'll go for an MOT with no problems. Oh yeah, and also sort the brakes out. Um front one seems a bit sticky, the back one just so stiff. You see earlier on in a, another video I was trying to um, free it up but I think I'm gonna have to take it apart and actually have a look at it properly so That's that for now That was quite a success